On the Wado Radio Show. Yes, DJ Wado is the Wado Radio Show. It's more than music. It's ministry. And the newest addition to Collision Records is on the line with us. Corey Paul, what up, man? What's going down, baby? Doing an IG? I'm good, man. Congratulations good. to you, homie. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate it greatly, bro. I, I, I genuinely do, man. I feel I feel great about the spot that we in, man. I'm excited about the future. Yeah. Excited about right now. So I appreciate that, man. Well, you know I've been a huge advocate of someone signing you for a long time. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Very vocal about the matter. I've been very vocal about it, man. I've been very vocal about it, man. Yes, but I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely happy for you, man, because I know how hard you work. Um, I know your heart. I know how talented you are, man. And, you know, the people at Collision Records is good people, bro. Straight up. Thank you, bro. Yeah, man, I know for years you've been saying that, you know, so I can't believe this dude. You know, ain't saying, man, somebody, bro, you need to, I know you done made phone calls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you done made phone calls to people personally, you know what I'm saying, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. to, to, to get, to, you know, get the attention my way, um, like on some real stuff. And so, um, man, I, I appreciate that when we get to moments like this and then you're right, bro, that's a big reason. <laughs> Um, why I did yeah, You know what it is man I, I've, I've always believed In what you've been Trying to do You know what I'm saying Like I saw it Like I, I'll, I'll never forget That first interview That we did And You told that whole story About your mother And you know what I'm saying Like yeah. Just that whole situation And then Like for you to even To, to do the music video I was just like Man this is Like I, I, Like it was just like Man like Man this is really Happening for this dude Like right. just Genuine joy man Right, right. My dog, man. I appreciate it, King. Yeah, and I remember that too, man. I remember, you know, telling that uh telling that story and, you know, always always remembering that interview. That was a big a, a, a gigantic deal for me at that time, you know what I'm saying? Um and then just kinda continuing to bring it to life and, and share it and you know, what people don't know, man, is that that story, you know what I'm saying, that that before the mama we made it video, that's a cliffhanger, like that's yeah. that's yeah. not even half of the story, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's a yeah. that's just a, a a small snippet of it, you know. You know, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. a lot more we want to paint of that picture, man, to show um, how real the uh, real the Lord is, man. Good man. So I, this is I, I I gotta ask you this, man, because when the signing was announced, I had a lot of people hit me up that were shocked. Mm -hmm. I mean, just straight like, man, I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. Corey Paul with Collision. <laughs> How's it going to fit? You right. know what I'm saying? His style is so much different than theirs. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, man, I just wanted to give you a chance to just, man, just just talk about that, man. Why Collision? You know, how you see your, yourself fitting in? You know, all of that stuff, man. Um, Man, bro. That, bro. <laughs> It's so funny because it, the, all the questions they had was the same questions that I had. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like so, it it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing like where are they getting this from? What could they possibly getting this? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, all the questions they had the same questions I had, man. Before before I signed, because I mean, in a sense, if you look at it from the outside of the, uh, of the joint, like if you look at it from the outside of it and you don't really just take a second to dig in, then um, you I can see where you're getting it from. But, you know, me and Dre are from the same place. I listen to Dre Murray before I write sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keeping it G. Uh, we're from the same place. You know, Alex, Alex has a real Southern, you know, a real Southern appeal. You know, both of them, you know, come with it. And, you know, Swoop is, you know, real, you know, artistic, you know, artistic and lyrical. And I feel like my music is artistic and lyrical the same way that swoops is but in a different spectrum in a different light you know what i'm saying um and so you know when you take you look at those different elements the southern the lyrics you know the storytelling dre dre is like a monster with storytelling you know what i'm saying yes. and so yes. 
you know, like, you know, that's me. I'm from the South. I tell stories. You know, I feel like I can be detailed and artistic like Swoop, but just in a different light and the whole nine. But mine is more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So I think that yeah. I think what people are really saying is the delivery. Like, how is this, yep. you know, this gritty, grimy, you know, yelling, passionate. How is that going to fit with Collision? Is so, you know, that's so smooth and, instru- you know, instrumental and, you know, that it's a such great production value. And then you got this little, you know, this little hood dude from Houston jumping around on the stage <laughs> screaming. Like, that's not going to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's not going to work. And and that's what I think that people are looking at it from that spot, that, that outside spectrum. But all that said, said to be said to say, you know, where I'm at is not where I want to be. And mm. AT and... AT, you know, the head of Collision, um, and all those guys over at, at Collision, you know, uh, including Wick, you know, and all the artists, like, these dudes do this, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm coming into this desiring to grow into more of a broader audience, to grow into, not a broader audience, a broader artist, I mean, grow into a broader artist, um, to where they can, and that's some, been some of the stuff, when I've been sending AT Music, he like, hey, this, this record, love it, this one, you screaming too much, like, you don't have to, you know, you know, you don't have to say it like this, you can say it like this, he's sending me links on this, that, and the third, you know, Dre will tell me this, and this. you know what I mean, so, they're, they're helping me grow into a more, uh, not versatile artist, I don't want to say that, because, it's put like this. They're helping me hone my skills, knowing when to, mm. you know, when, when to drive fast, when to drive slow, when to take the turns or the curves a certain type of way. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's why it's going to work. And then, man, they great people. You know what I mean? So, like, to ask, you know, it's like, well, why would you go there? Why wouldn't you sign with him or sign with her? They seem like they fit, whatever, whatever. Man, um, they great people. You know, as brothers, you know, even if you when you cut the mic off and step out of the vocal booth, they're they're uh, men who I would want to be around to grow as a man. And when you put that together, you then you know the music just gonna happen. The music is gonna be a fruit. It's gonna be a product of that type of overflow of men um, pushing forward for the sake of the gospel, um, packaging it conveniently in these you know music uh these musical tracks you know what i'm saying so that's my take on that nah that's that's i think that's good man i'm interested to see how that how that how that marriage sounds going forward just given the you know what i'm saying just even you describing that how that dialogue is taking place you know what yeah. i'm saying like i, I think it's I, like I, I think the same thing kind of happened with ishan burgundy and humble beast a little bit it's like he came and he had a different sound but it was like it kind of was beneficial, I think, to everybody. You right. Know what I'm saying because it like it stretched both sides of it. You know right. What I'm so. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, man, I'm interested too, bro. Because I don't even know. Well, I'm not even sure. It's gonna sound. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much music you been recording since you since you signed? Yeah, uh, I recorded enough music to drop an album right now. Like, wow. yeah, I got, we got enough music, we got enough music that if we wanted to, we could drop an album right now. Now, you know how they go, though, you know, out of everything yeah. I recorded, yeah. we might only use three songs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for yeah. as the actual recording yeah. of it, yeah, man, I, I got, I didn't record it since I signed probably about, I don't know, man, I probably recorded probably about 15, maybe 15 to 20 total, you know what I'm saying? Wow. But You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, a piece of those are kind of just like, eh, I don't know if that, you know, that's just the thought type of thing. And then we got yeah, some other stuff yeah, that's yeah. pretty solid. Uh, but you know, that's just been the, this little beginning part. We haven't even really got started yet, you know. So is this like, is this been primarily stuff that Wit and Swoop have been producing too, or have you been, you know, outside producers and some yeah. of the people you've always worked with? Yeah. So as of now, man, I uh, so you know we're working on Southern Lights. Yeah, that's that's the big yep. that's the big project coming from uh, Alex and Dre. 
Um, and, yep. and Wit producing, Wit produced, I, I, man, I think Wit produced all of Southern, Southern Lights, if I'm not wow. mistaken. Um, but yeah, so that's been the primary focus, you know, that Wit and Swoop been on is producing for that. So what I've been bringing to the table has been stuff that with my home, like my, like Mama, we made it. That was my homie, Mach One. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, he's a Christian. He produces or whatever. So it's been cat. It's been cats that I've been rocking with and bringing it to the table. Uh, like that and so what Swoop has been doing is helping me with like creative uh, like the creative control part you know what I mean so I'll send mm. records to Swoop and he'll you know write out this lengthy email of just straight game you know what I'm saying just <laughs> you know, just straight knowledge and game so much so in the beginning I didn't even understand it like you know like yeah. he'll say certain things and I'll be like I don't I don't know what that means. I respond back and be like, "No, nah, bro." Da, 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 da. <laughs> Explain that. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "Nah, you know that's not what you know." You know, Dre be like, "Nah, bro." You now he's saying this. I'm like, "Oh, okay, 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 bet." Yeah. And he'll go through track by track. You know what I'm saying? He'll go through track by track. Swoop, Alex, At. You know what I'm saying? Um, Dre, they all go through track by track and go, okay, this is this, this is that, this can be changed, this is, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, so it's been real, a lot of creative control and not controlling it, but, you know, like trying to take it to that level that I say, hey, I want it to yeah. sound like this. And they're like, okay, well, if that's the case, then this is what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I haven't got in the studio with them just yet because um, we got to finish the Southern Lights. And then uh, after that, it's going down. Man, that's interesting. So, like, even just receiving that feedback can be difficult as an artist because you've been used to being independent for so long. Right. Like, was that in and of itself getting that much of a detail? Like, was that an adjustment? Like, was that hard to like, man? Like, he's 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 killing my song here. <laughs> like, you know what I'm yep. saying? Like, is that? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Straight up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was. It, that, it's a it's a big adjustment, man. You got to go back to the foundation. Like, mama, we made it, bro. Like, I recorded that joint like five times, bro. Um, wow. Yeah, you know, like some of it was like straight re-records because of the quality, but some of it was just editing. When I say recorded, like I had to go back to the studio, you know what I'm saying, to do stuff. Mm. Um, you know, and some of the times I was like, man, it's, it's, that's it. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, but I already came into this with like, I came into this with a mindset of, I trust their brand, I trust what they do, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, submit you know what i'm saying i'm gonna submit to um what they saying what they talking about because at or none of the other guys they don't never mess with me about my content and that's what's so near and dear to me you feel me like at mm. he, he has yet to tell me you know hey man you need to rewrite this verse or rewrite that or da, 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 da. his whole thing is just you know expansion you know like his mindset is like if 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 you know, if you like, hey, I want to buy a tent so I can work on on cars. He want to he want to try to show you how you can buy a garage. You know what I'm saying? He not gonna say, nah, you don't need to be working on car. You feel me? So like, so so that's that's eighty percent of the battle with me. So if you if you good with my lyrics, all right, I'm listening. What was what's going on? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. So uh, so yeah. So it, you know, but in the beginning, it's just. You getting everybody different, and then it's learning each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may tell me, "Hey, this track sound like this." Like, say you say, "Man, um, I don't know. I think this sound like, uh, uh, you know, uh, a demo track or something like that." Well, I'm like, "What? Nah, I really like this song." But you may be telling me it sound like a demo track because it need yeah. better drums, it need better this. You're not saying it's a throwaway. You know what I'm saying? You're saying that it needs work. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah. So, yeah, bro, it's it's challenging in the beginning, especially because all these dudes, you know, all these dudes, you know, they've been around music for a long time, you know, uh, on, a, on a high level, you know. And so, um, you know, it can be challenging, but I always come back to the core. They got my best interest in mind, and um, they got a great track record. They love me. Yeah, they sure ain't gonna try to steer me in the wrong way. You feel me? So I just have to check myself. And uh, we've been good though. That's good, man. That's yeah, good. man. Um, man, what's the what's this mean for frontline movement, man? 
Yeah, yeah. So that was, I knew that was gonna be a big. I probably at probably got tired of me asking about that because um, that was one of my big. I was like, hey, you know, you know, I want to make sure that it's still friendly. And he was like, yeah. But when me and AT first talked, that was one of my first questions. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, friend line, you know, that's my heart. That's passionate. You know, I'm passionate about it, whatever. And AT was like, yeah, man, I love what y'all doing at front line. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's a that's a big deal. That, that's, that's a banner that needs to be pushed and carried. If anything, I would hope that Collision can help y'all grow that. So AT and Collision, they, they're pro front line. They're for front line. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so... Um, I always say, man, me and Rick, one thing is the, the music that me and Rick make is a product of the life we've lived and the life that we live in. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. you know, this is the whole thing where, you know, we just happen to rap type of mindset. So Frontline is the music, but Frontline is also a ministry. You know what I mean? Um, on, like, like for real, though. You know what I'm saying? We partner with Harris County Juvenile Detention Centers, you know, we have the, you know, Hope Project that we do, we got the prison ministry stuff, you know, we, me and Rick are both a part of Resurrection Houston, our local church, you know, where they, um, where they uh, support Frontline, like, strong, you know, whether we doing, you know, this thing, Church in the Bricks, or Hope for the Tray, or different concerts, so, anyway, front, like, so when you hear a Frontline song, like you hear the the, the uh, you know you, you know a song from me or a song from Rick or you see us doing a show together, like that's just a product of all of the stuff we do that when the mic is off. You feel me? Um, so Rick just signed with um, he signed you know a, a, a venture with um, with Track or Die with Street Symphony. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so he's and so he got that popping, and then I signed with Collision. You know what I mean? And I got that popping. Uh, but we still frontline. We rocking South by Southwest together. You know what I'm saying? This year we gonna be at Legacy together. This year um, we we planning a frontline tour for the summer. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So uh, yeah, so it's forever frontline because you know that's like saying, hey man, wait though, you got picked up by you know um, you know the Breakfast Club. You know what does that mean for you know you and your wife? like what you mean yeah you know what i'm saying like <laughs> <laughs> that's my wife you know what i'm saying so yeah, like yeah. you know like that's my family you know what i mean if we never wrapped again um it would still be front line you know what i'm talking about so that that's i hope that answers that question yeah and I, I you know what i think too man like a lot of people I mean, I think a lot of people are always under the assumption, even though you've explained this a lot of times, that Frontline was like a record label, and it wasn't. It was, it was yeah, a movie. Like yeah. Like, that's y'all's crew. So I think I think the people that wonder what's up with Frontline were probably looking at it from the perspective of, well, is this a joint venture with Frontline and mm -hmm, Collision? Mm -hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's that really mean? So I think that... That's probably part of it too. You true. know what I mean? Yeah, very true. And I think it's because me and Rick do so much together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's real hard. Like, look, when he put out the stuff for Track or Die, when they announced he dropped, you know, dropped Plotting, you know, saying Rick and Sal signs of Track or Die. I'm not featuring on Plotting. I ain't had no production on Plotting. I wasn't in the, uh, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I was, uh, uh, it, I wasn't, um, you know, nowhere i had nothing to do with that but when you look at the comments they was like ah oh, bro rick and uh Corey signed the track of die oh it's going down you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> i was nowhere around bro people just assume they just like, yo y'all so tight it's like yeah Corey signed too <laughs> yeah and we stopped fighting it bro we don't even fight it no more bro it's just like yep yeah, mm -hmm, yeah it's going down but uh but yeah, man. So it's 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 because we do so much together. Um, it's hard for people to separate us, you know. Um, and so we just let the music. Like we don't care what you, you know. Like we don't care what you think in the sense of like if you think I'm here, you think I'm there, you think he, man. It don't. If you're listening to the music and it's doing something for your life, you can whatever yeah. you want to put me at. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's it's fine because it's that trying to separate from the the group mindset but um shoot we ain't tripping i feel it mm -hmm. how did y'all how did y'all meet in the first place uh me and rick I know or... he's he's a yeah you and rick like i know he's originally from florida yeah you know what i'm saying yeah um, man. so it's like did, 
y'all met while he was in college. You might have told me this before. One of y'all might have told me this before. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you good. Yeah, man. Um, um, it, boys don't know, man. It boy Rick, um, he he played college football, man. Like he played. No, real, I knew that for Rice. Football. He played at yeah, Rice, right? Yeah, he played for Rice yeah. University. Graduated, graduated yeah. from Rice. Got now, I, I actually, I actually uh, came across some some. Uh, his high school highlight tape on YouTube. Oh, time. straight, straight up. Yeah, <laughs> that real. boy was beasted. That boy yeah. was beasted. <laughs> yeah, man, that boy was raw. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah, man. So he played. Um, so he played for Rice. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, it's a it, so uh, it's a cat in Houston that's it had a gigantic deal to do with the Houston hip hop mu- movement. Um, you got Trey Nine, and then you also got Von One. You know what I'm saying, yep. and so Von One is was like real instrumentation, real instrumental in the Christian hip hop movement in Houston, like put, like putting people together, you know, unity and all that stuff. So um, Von graduated from Rice too. So when Rick came to Houston and was playing for Rice and started to you know do music, him and Von linked up, and so when they linked up, he brought Rick over to the studio that we was all working out of and all that kind of stuff, and we met. That's how we met the first time. And he, he always talked about how he thought I was a secular dude when he saw me in the studio. He thought I was just a regular <laughs> secular rapper because they was they, they had a yeah. song and they was like, Hey, let Corey get on it. And he was like, Man, I don't want that dude on there be rapping by blunts and, and smoking, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, nah, you're a Christian, you know what I'm saying? He's like, Oh, okay. And so after that, we uh we um we 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 had this uh you know, it was one of those conversations we had, bro. It was the event we had. And after the event, we talked for like three hours, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just in the parking lot talking. And um, I realized after the conversation, we both was like, all right, this this dude, is he's me. He just got dreads and he's he, he he's light-skinned. But we're the same people. You know what I'm saying? We come from the same place, just in different yeah. states. And uh, we got the same heart. Um, and so, bro, from there, we hit the ground running in. It just kept going, you know, because we both want to reach, you know, the inner city, reach these youth with this music, and we understand them. So, yeah, yeah. I think, man, you know, we w- we were talking about this a bit before we got on the air, like just utilizing this music to reach, you know, that demographic. I think has been a, I don't want to say a debate, but it's been a challenge. Um since the early days of Christian rap. It's like yeah. how do you like how do you do it and still remain, you know, still be able to fund your ministry, you know, not compromise and, you know, do all these different things, man. And, you know, man, just I man, I would just love just like your general thoughts, man, just on, you know, what you've seen in that space, man, and, you know, some of y'all successes and, and yeah. even challenges, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, well, just like anything else, bro, when you're talking about the mainstream or quote unquote secular or whatever you want to be, uh, it, whatever you want, you know, you want to call it, like the people usually, you always got the exceptions, but usually the reason why it's so things are so successful is because it's a real thing. Even the fake things are based off of real things, right? So like yeah, if you right, you feel me? So like when you talk about like so so gangster rap, you know what I'm saying? Get gangster rap is so um you know, it's so foundational because when you come up when you come up in a in a in a in a rough neighborhood, you come up in third ward or fifth ward or if you up north in this, you know, you know, flatbush or Marcy Projects or whatever, you know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. You know, Compton yep. on the West Coast. When you come up in that it's the whole mindset of you either a target or you a bullet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm-hmm. want to be bullets. Nobody want to be targets. So if you a gangster or you associate with gangsters, then you a tough guy. You know what I'm saying? And so with that being the case, um, then you in. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're okay, you're solid. So when you got, so when you have rappers, you know, that's talking about all of this stuff, it's it's off of the back of you know the comfort and the protection you know and and the the boldness of being a gangster you know what i'm saying so it has a a ring of it has so so the guy the guy rapping about it might not 
to be telling 100 percent of the truth but the concepts that he's rapping about you know it's real people in real neighborhoods that are these people you know what i'm saying that are really gangsters that are really you know robbers and stuff like that so like what i'm saying is it's an element of realness to it and so when you uh if you're a christian and you got this music and you want to um you know infiltrate this culture you have to have a, a strong element of realness that you're bringing to this music you know and so um i don't think that it's about making a hit record and sending out a hit record and getting a hit record played you know um on the radio and da 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 like now that's part of the game but i feel like the same way that that boys gotta really um make a name for themselves in the street you do too you feel me so th- yeah. that's a that's a big part of it like in in a, a lot of rap circles either the dude that's rapping is that dude in the street or some people he's connected to is that dude in the street mm. you feel what i'm saying mm. so yeah. Yeah. you got that yeah. that's it's the same thing like if i say okay if i want to go break mama we made it in houston it's not gonna just be off of me sending a record out Bro, I got to get out there. I got to roll my sleeves yeah. up. I got to get out there. And so when boys see me, they got to go, oh, that little dude, he really about it. He really, you know what I'm saying, in these streets, he's really trying. So now you gain a level of respect, which is going to get you, you know, opportunities to have conversations with people that matter. You know what I'm saying? And so that's my take on it. Like, the, so you still going to, the ministry is still going to be the foundation of it. It ain't going to be ministry like passing out tracks and trying to you know uh baptize people at you know um rich homie coin concerts like that may not be you know what I'm saying you know yeah. that may not be the, the 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 best way to go about it it may start as more relational um and um just listening to understand the needs that need to be met in these specific specific circles you feel me so that that's my that's my take on it like you gotta you gotta be a part of it um, in order to quote unquote infiltrate it and it's still gonna be about ministry even if it's about music because that's what they doing like like they it's, yep. it's their ministry you know if they make yep. smoke music or if they make twerk music or if they make whatever that's their form of 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 secular you know uh getting the word out that's how they spread their truth you know um and and so we got to do the exact same thing man and we've been able to have some success with it bro um because we've actually tried to, you know, be be in the midst of it and not just throw records at it from a distance. Um, but it's it's something that's it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of work, you know, it sure ain't profitable, you know what I'm saying? Um, especially in the beginning. So you gotta really believe in it or you'll burn yourself out. Yeah, I think man, like one of the things that is really encouraging to me is that in that in that scene in Houston, one, y'all got a like a history of Christian rap in that city. Right. Like dude's been doing like a lot of Christian rap in Houston for like twenty years. But there's also been some um some linkages and some relationships built with a lot of the, you know, like the mainstream OGs in the city, like, you know, like the Bun B's, the Chameleonaires, the yep. The Paul Walls, you know what I'm saying? People like that that, yep. you know, are aware of the music and the ministry and the message and the people that's doing it, man. And so, um, like you don't really see that in a lot of other cities, man. You right. know what I'm saying? Like truthfully. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's bro, one of the one of the most influential dudes in Houston is a dude from Rapalite Records named Jay Prince. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That yep. you know, if you know about Houston and, and influence, you know about that. Jay that's 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 triple OG right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that's 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 triple. <laughs> <laughs> that's who Bobby Johnson want to be like. You know, what I'm yeah. Saying? That's, that's, <laughs> he said Bobby Johnson want to be <laughs> Jay Prince. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, that ain't nothing to talk or debate about, bro. <laughs> Houston, that just is what it is. You know, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Trey Nine from Houston. Who used to um run, you know, uh, was owner of the South and Much Love Records and all that back in the yeah, gap. Yeah. Trey Nine, he uh started a ministry called Hip Hop Hope. And and Hip Hop Hope, that's how I got put on, you know, so that was part of the reason, part of the way I got put on to the game. Uh yeah. 
part of the reason I got put on to the game was um, that Hip Hop Hope. And Hip Hop Hope was in Fifth Ward, which is, you know, where, where a lot of the cats from Rap A Lot and stuff came from. Um, and it was at Jay Prince's gym in Fifth Ward. You know what I mean? And, you know, Jay Prince would, you know, help with a gang of stuff, like for us, you know, um, you know, when they would have like different parties there or outreaches or, you know what I'm yep. saying, anniversaries and stuff like that. He was, uh, you know, he was right there along with it. You know what I'm saying? For us helping out with it and stuff or whatever. And so you had cats like Trey the Truth come through and all this stuff, man. And so I'm just saying that to say when you when you align yourself, you know what I'm saying? When you can align yourself next to something like that in the city, man, like you said, that don't happen everywhere, bro. That's that's God's grace to, you know, have cats go, man. What y'all doing, I respect. You know what I mean? Like, I respect what y'all doing it and how y'all doing it. And regardless yeah. to if you think the person is this or you think they that or whatever, whatever, man, these kids that's coming up, these kids that's coming up that that, that, that boys got influence over, they telling them, hey, look at these guys. You feel me? Mm. So if they telling yeah. them, hey, yeah. look at these guys, hey, go to, to the gym, go on Tuesdays, go do this, this, that, and the third, man, it's, change is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? The culture is going to happen. People always think that, you know, man, all these rappers, man, they, they want all these kids to die and go to hell and they such a da 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 da. Man, if you talk to these people, man, you'll see that it's a lot more to it. You feel me? And I'm not saying that. But yeah, I think they. I think a lot of times, man, this is the bottom line. It's like a lot of times in that space, and I used to do it before I got saved. Yeah. It was like I would play records in the club that had a certain message, and mm -hmm. I would say certain things on the microphone. Mm -hmm. And then outside of that, I was an honor student mm. at school and was just trying to make a better mm. life for myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, like yeah, it's just it's just you have a and so I'm I'm saying it not even like judging dudes. It's just right. it's it's a part of like you almost feel like this is what you have to do to be successful yep. in this space. Yep. So you do it even if it doesn't necessarily match your core values as a person in your private life. Yep. And 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 we and why they'll bro, they'll tell you that like Bro, it's not no, it's not a yeah. secret. The stuff that I'm saying is not a secret, bro. Like if you yeah. talk, yeah. you know, Boosie, when Boosie got out, he went on 106 in Park. You know what I'm saying? And said at his own mouth, boys can go Google it. You know, he say they asked him, you know, hey, what would you say to the kids watching? And he'd tell them, hey man, don't try to live this rapper lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, go to yeah. school. Do you he'll tell you that? He told me, hey, drink. He said in an interview, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, I almost kill myself behind drink. You know what I'm saying? It's an addiction. Mm. You, you shouldn't do it. You feel me? So mm. like, you gotta see. Like the thing you gotta understand, man, is well, you know, a person may say this or say this or whatever, whatever, and they got responsibilities and they got whatever, whatever, and all that stuff is up for debate. You know what I mean? But just like as believers, we wrestle with sin issues, we wrestle wrestle with you know DNA embedment and 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 and, and demons, and you know we wrestle with all that stuff. Other cats is wrestling with the same thing. So yeah, on pen and paper, he would want his life to look like this, and he'll tell you that. But he might not be big enough to just make that flip yet. You feel me? And yeah. you know, it's not saying we should enable them or just say, "Oh, it's all right, bro." But it also saying, "Man, let's not try to crucify these dudes." You know what I mean? Um, at every chance we get, now, I'm gonna speak the truth. I'm gonna tell you the game was right, is right, and was wrong is wrong. You feel me? But that don't mean I can't love on you and have a relationship with you in the meantime. You feel me? That's real. Yeah, it's good, bro. That's a good. I think that's just it's just that's the right mindset to have, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up, man. You know what I mean? Like, like that's just that's the right that's the right mindset to have, dude. Right. Good, man. Right. My God, man. What? What? Let me. Um. One. One last thing about the Houston scene, man. Um. From your from your vantage point, like I know he's been doing these for a number of years, but just man, what role has even Bum B's hip hop and religion panel played in the city, just in terms of like furthering the conversation and bringing people together yeah yeah man just um just what you said for us further further the conversation see like a lot of people i think i think people i think we don't understand in our genre how many people don't know about us bro 
Like, just for yeah. just anybody listening, bro, just go start asking random people that you work with. Hey, you ever heard of nah, Christian they ain't never, they, Man, bro, they, <laughs> like, yeah, we, we, it, it's, they haven't. But yeah, boys ever heard, go ask them. And if they have heard about it, they gonna say, oh yeah, I heard this dude named Lecrae. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's what they're going to say. The big yep. homie because he's everywhere. That's what's up. That's yep. beautiful because we got to leave somebody. But boys, say, you know, you you go ask people or just go around. Just be around. Go in foot action. Go in fashion stores. Go, just walk around. Listen to who bumping music as they drive by. You're not going to hear us like that. You feel me? No. So, <laughs> yeah, bro. You feel me? So, Dr. Penn and, um, Dr. Penn and Bun, like the stuff that they doing, it brings about it brings awareness to it it brings the conversation up um it it um it further it furthers the um the mess it furthers the message of of jesus and hip-hop not necessarily further you know the genre not necessarily, not necessarily push the genre but it gets people thinking about what jesus the gospel religion and its place in hip hop and culture. You know what I'm saying? Now they have a kind of a different perspective. Everybody has a different kind of perspective on it, but it gets people thinking and it starts to spread it. Cause Bun, Bun B, he got, um, like it's a, a, a joint he got on channel 39. It's called news fit news fix in Houston. And it comes on, I think, I don't know. I know it's on Sundays, but it might be like Wednesdays and Sundays. And he has his own segment called Bun, uh, like Bun's beat. You know what I mean, and so he's on there like every every other week or something, talking about different upcoming acts or different artists. And it was a time he did one segment uh, not too long ago where it was about the Christian artists in Houston, and he talked mm-hmm. about Pyrex. You know what I'm saying? He talked about Pyrex out of Houston and, and a couple more cats or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know DMD. You know uh, 25 Lighters and 25 Bibles got a radio show. You know what I'm saying on on um, that the homie DJ Overflow um, gets on. Um, Ronnie had just linked up with uh, I think it was like Scarface and Dr. Penn or something like that. Not too long ago, they was on the radio. So anyway, it leads to all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Is the exposure of it, and so it you know it works. And when you're there, it is what it is. It's a panel. Everybody got their own opinion, but it brings up the conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, bro. Straight up. That is that is good, man. That's yeah. Good, man. And they they have them like was it like once a quarter or something like that? Man, you know what? I'm not sure, bro. Yeah, I'm not sure because they cuz you know they it's an actual class at Rice, you know what I'm saying, that you yeah, can take. Yeah. And so it's the class and then they'll have like the the they have the panels, you know, for us like okay, you know, Dr. Penn and Bun or they didn't have Lupe on it before or Trey Nine to be on whatever. They have those, but then they also have like like offs of those. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff they have, just maybe something at Rice they'll do or something they'll do. You know, I know they did some stuff at like Yates High School before, so I'm not sure exactly how many they do a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah they get it in. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, so, what's next for Corey Paul, man? You said you and Rec might be doing a tour this summer obviously the southern lights is coming out yep. are you going to try to put a project out in 2015 yep for sure yeah, yeah, yeah straight up yeah man that's that's we're gonna drop southern lights um and uh just the southern lights tour you know what i'm saying it's gonna come then uh me and rick been been chopping it up and he's been working real hard too um him and another homie kenny of ours out of memphis been working um on the front line they've been working on their front line tour real heavy um we getting some yeah. dates locked in for that um and then yep an album um an album or an ep or somebody of work you know what i'm saying should you know we should drop that this year like um that's that's that should happen if that don't happen it'll be somewhere real wrong somewhere or whatever but um definitely putting out some more music some more visuals um some more music more visuals um and then um yeah, really getting on the road man getting on the road a lot um some, di- some different stuff in some different camps and then then um even pushing a lot of, like more uh, in our own city so yeah man all, all that a lot of good stuff coming man Man, you out here getting it, brother. Trying. Really, really, really trying, bro. Really <laughs> trying. Straight up. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, man, Corey, man, I, I definitely appreciate you, man. You know, this is always a pleasure when we can when we can do these, brother. 
Straight up. Anytime, bro. Anytime. Hopefully, hopefully, I keep doing stuff so we have stuff to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Man, you so. will, man. I'm, I'm saying when you, when you, when you, when you about to put out that body of work or whatever it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So we definitely got to get one of these in, man. Hopefully, we get a chance to come across each other this summer or something, man, on the road or something, man. You uh, are you going? Are you coming to Legacy? You know? Oh yeah, I'm definitely at Legacy, bro. I'm there I... every year. Yeah, I'm definitely there. Okay, well then I definitely yeah. see you at Legacy. Then we coming to Legacy. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely at Legacy. I'm um I'm a be in. I, I got a show in Dallas uh on um Memorial Day weekend. Okay, okay, and, okay. Yeah, and so I'm 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 actually trying to figure out if I want to try to do something in Houston maybe that Monday. Um, okay. Maybe maybe we need to talk off air about that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's yeah, do that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a, I got to I got to I got to join I'm doing that Saturday and then um I'm going to do something Sunday with um with uh with D-Boy's uh mother and sister at the uh at the uh at the youth center. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dallas. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I'm if if I could if I could do something that Monday Memorial Day, man, that'd be dope. So that's know. what's up. Yeah, let's chop about that then, man. We can take on. Maybe we need to have a, a frontline wait on radio uh Memorial Day barbecue. Hey, I'm with it. Hey, I'm with it. I'm okay, a I'm a I'm a fool with them ribs. So I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even lie to you. I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> we can do it, man. I love it, man. Well, Corey, man, appreciate you, brother. Hey, I appreciate you, Wado. Absolutely. On the Wado Radio Show. On the Wado Radio. On the Wado Radio Show. Where it's much more music. It's ministry.